Alright guys, back again for another video. Um, today I want to talk about when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? We all know that uh, expression. And to be honest, I've never liked that expression very much for a few reasons. Uh, number one, I like lemons. I think lemons are pretty nice to begin with, so it kind of loses the impact on me. Um, number two, uh, to make lemonade, you need sugar, and life ain't always give you sugar. Uh, and number three, I think it's weak. Uh, I don't think that it does enough to express what life can sometimes throw at us. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, but what about when life gives you a steaming plate of shit? What do you do? You make, make a shit smoothie, right? Uh, so I was thinking about that uh, yesterday and today, and actually, I think it all just kind of depends on how you look at life. Um, life does give us shit, absolute shit, sometimes. There are things that happen that are just, you can't even call it a lemon. You can't, there's no way to make it better, right? But if you realize that even shit, as disgusting and as smelly and whatever as it is, it has its function. Um, anyone who gardens or farms could tell you that if you put shit into the soil in a proper way, uh, the manure, it fertilizes the soil and it helps you to grow whatever you're growing. Um, and so my thought for today is, uh, we're all trying to grow something. We all have a garden, you know, metaphorically speaking, we all have a garden, we're all trying to grow things, whether it be uh, a relationship or um, a, our spiritual life or our talents, our creativity, um, a business startup, something that we're doing uh, that is us. And some days life gives us sunshine, which we need and is enjoyable. Uh, sometimes we get rain, which we also need uh, and it, it can be fun too. Um, but sometimes life gives us shit and uh, we just have to deal with that. Um, and I think if we can shift our mindset away from thinking that it's a bad thing, you know, we tend to go off on this, oh God, why did you let this happen to me? And then we cry and we feel sorry for ourselves. But uh, I think the sooner we can realize that we've been given, uh, you know, brown gold, <laughs> uh, the sooner we can start to work that back into the soil and allow it to fertilize and uh, eventually we'll reap a harvest out of it. So maybe for you, you've lost your job, you've been laid off and you're pissed. You're like, how am I gonna provide for my family and uh, I'm upset and this and that. And it doesn't have to be a job. It could be the unexpected ending of a relationship, uh, an illness, an injury, the loss of a loved one, uh, financial trouble, it doesn't matter. But maybe also you have this creativity inside of you and you have these ideas and these, this art. Maybe you're an artist and you've been suppressing that part of who you are for the last 10, 15, 20 years because you've been working this nice secure job. And now that that job isn't there anymore, uh, maybe rather than, than thinking of this as why did this happen, uh, you can think of this as what can I learn from this? What can I get out of this? How can this situation uh, empower me to start living the kind of life that I want to live? Um, and it takes a bit of faith, it takes a bit of trust, uh, it takes it takes a bit of courage and vulnerability, but I really believe that we all are capable of those things. Um, so anyway, that's my story. Uh, when life hands you shit, don't make a shit smoothie because nobody wants to drink that. Uh, use it as manure. Uh, put it in the ground, till it, work with it, keep shoveling, and eventually you're going to have a good harvest. Alright, bye guys.